For this lesson, I'm using the C02 underscore 02 assembly. I see that I have my bolted connections in place, and now I want to take a look at some options. I have a few questions about whether or not these are the appropriate size or type of fastener. To make modifications to design accelerator components, we don't simply right click and say edit or double click, but it's not difficult. I'll just simply right click over a design accelerator component say edit using design accelerator. If I wanted to get rid of something generated with a design accelerator, I would choose delete design accelerator component. For now, I'm just going to edit. My concerns center on a couple of different things. One, that the fasteners I've selected stick up above the top of the cover a little far, but I don't want to recess the cover anymore. The other is that while we commonly use this number 10 screw, it might not be the best size for the job. So I want to use the design accelerator to help me make sure that I'm using the right one. I'll go to the calculation tab, and on the calculation tab, I can select from different types of calculators. One is a bolt material design, so if I have a specific number of bolts and specific size that I need to maintain, but they're under a high load condition, I can choose a hardened bolt or it will help me select what material will work. If I'm not sure how many bolts are going to be required, but I have a specific diameter, I can ask it to help guide me on the number of bolts based on the bolt design I've selected that will be needed to hold things together. I can also use a bolt diameter design. The bolt diameter design will allow me to put in a force that I expect, so fairly minimal axial force, maybe just a little bit of tangential force, and do a calculation. When I click Calculate, Note the preview that's shown on the screen. It will work up through the sizes until it finds a bolted connection size that's appropriate. I'll return to the Design tab to see what the results were. Autodesk Inventor is suggesting that a number 6 will be appropriate. Now I need to address the geometry. I'll click on the fastener itself and return back to the catalog. In the catalog, instead of using a round head bolt, I'll switch to countersunk bolts. Looking at the list, I can choose any one that I like. Here I'll choose a cross recessed oval countersunk. It will update the type of holes that are shown. And I'll click OK to update my bolted connection. When I do this, it will change out the fasteners. And if I activate the cover, it will show that it's placed a countersunk hole into the cover as well. So this looks like it will perform just fine, and I know based on the calculation that it will do the job. Looking more closely at my design, I want to change out the bolt that's holding the adapter plate on. Right now it's a bolt running through a washer and a nut, but since I'm going to be tapping holes into the housing anyway, my tooling will be set up to allow me to do some tapping. So I'll edit this bolted connection, Go to the bolt stack, delete the members, and then change the last hole to be a threaded hole. Finally, I'll update the fastener itself by just dragging the length to something that will just emerge on the other side of the hole, maybe just a little shorter. I'll click OK, and we'll update not only the bolted connection, but it will also make sure there's a tapped hole in my part as well. By editing the design accelerators directly, we can maintain their integrity and make sure we're still leveraging the standards that help us guide what components we need.